seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Okay, Christian is installing some backsplash right now. Uh, so we're gonna start the day off with that. It's bugging me. <laughs> it's bugging me. <laughs> okay, so Christian is currently measuring out all the tile backsplash. What are you working with? Uh, <laughs> it's, Alright, we'll try that again. It's natural peel and stick tile that is groundable. Okay, so real. It's, well, it's like. Real it's, materials. It's like real materials like glass and stone, but it's peel and stick and it's a groundable tile. It's good or bad to work with? Well, it's not very forgiving, that's for sure. Once it's on, it's on. When you're installing real tile, you can move it around. Right. <laughs> okay, so make sure you have it lined up right. You got one damn chance at it. Nope, I don't like that at all. Mm -hmm. That'll look perfect. <laughs> Glad you came up with that. That's a good solution, eh? Good, good, good fix, Frank. Okay, so here is our tiles. These are going right there. A lot has happened in here. Uh, so last week we did not have a video. I apologize, things got very busy. Uh, this week is not any better, but we gotta show off some of this progress. Okay, so in Gandalf, let's start off with what has happened over the last two weeks. I honestly, I need to look around. This is the first time I've been in this build for a while. And it looks very good. Okay, so this was all done. This is our finished couch. Okay, so we have a TV installed. It looks like the stand is mounted to the top of the entertainment unit. That's hiding underneath the wrapping. All our nice protect protectant. Uh, this was a pretty simple install, I would say. Just a stand, TV. I've got a little entertainment area. What am I looking at right now? It's, it's is our is it break time? Break. Banana break. <laughs> That's new. So this table here. So this little bar stool, breakfast nook. I don't know what you actually want to call it, but it's a flip up table. Uh, let's show off how that operates. I guess first, this is just a piece of Baltic laminated. And then we have these drop down, kind of fold down brackets. Well, pretty easy operation, grab these two little brackets, folds down and out of the way. So this will be a nice little addition, probably for breakfast, things like that, eating up. Honestly, it could be anything. This could be office area. The whole point of the fold down, the client wanted this out of the way so that this whole area, from this wall to that wall uh, is a workout area. So eventually on the wall across from me, there will be some sort of magnetic, some sort of magnetic, very fancy workout contraption. We're not installing that. Excited to see what it looks like though. Okay, we brought halfway through the bus. Unfortunately, kitchen is done. Uh, kitchen's done, but I can't show it off yet. It's uh, it's looking like that might be a bit of a Christmas unwrapping. We've got all our protectant ram board on it. But trust me, uh, well, how do the cabinets look? They look good. 
cabinets look good. What do we got under here? Okay, so when we unwrap this, uh, this is the oven compartment range on top. This I believe you guys saw two weeks ago. That's the range hood. Right here, we've got another flip up. So that pops up. That just offers a bit more cooking, uh, food preparation area. Right there, the fridge is gonna pop in. Like just the, the uh, I'm assuming we're just waiting till the end. We're waiting, it can go in anytime. Okay, probably fridge might be in this week. Probably go in today sometime. Okay, well this is very new. We got a custom door here. Okay, so this is John's handiwork. We've got a pine panel door. Christians are doing so much planning. I think he's missing the hands-on work a little bit. Look at that door though. Not sure what stain is on here, uh, but this was a clear pine. Um, it's not pine, it's is it, is it fur again? This is the same, this, same this is the same doors. <laughs> okay, not pine. Uh, this door right here is fur. We're still on that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the exact same door we were talking about, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So it's it's just stained one. now. <laughs> I can hear you, Frank. We are still on that. Uh, so these are the same doors. They got a beautiful dark walnut and then a clear on top. This is new. Okay, so whole vanity area. Again, this is going to have to be a Christmas unwrapping. Vanity area is done. You guys saw a peek of it uh, two weeks ago. But the but the Vestal sink is installed. The taps installed. The mirrors installed. And our nice little shelves. You can kind of see how that all lays out now. Ooh, that's a dirty lens. Hiding behind this RAM board, uh, once again, you did see these a little bit, but these are the wardrobes. Nothing too fancy there. Our shower again, you guys saw that. I believe that was installed. Uh, this is just our composting toilet. Airhead, uh, same toilet that we use all the time. And our fan heading out. Moving through, we got another door installed. Another fancy door. And this leads into the bedroom. Frank's been doing a lot of fancy, fancy dancing in there. Okay, so a lot happening in this back compartment here. Uh, where do I even start? So mainly this is the electrical compartment. It's also housing our heaters, the main hubs, and the instant hot water heater. That instant hot water heater, I uh, can't wait to try it out. That's our first time using it from Truma. For heat, uh, this is a Vario, Vario heater from Truma. And you have the ability to actually link a few of these units up. So we usually put two in a full size bus. Okay, our batteries. We have four 100 amp hour lithium batteries, 3000 watt uh, peak inverter, inverter charger, uh, our solar controller, alternator charger, surge protection, and now Frank just has to wire it all up. Okay, I'm off to take, what bus is it? I'm taking Rooster to the mechanics. It's getting a little bit of service done to it and a few connections made. That bus is very close to complete. Gandalf, Rooster, and Sully all did a shuffle. We pulled in Aaron's bus, it's still nameless. 
It is a mid-size, flat nose, cute little bus. We'll show you that later today. Uh, we're off to take Rooster into the mechanics right now. is absolutely massive. Okay, so this is Rooster in the outdoors. This is the maiden voyage in Rooster. It's been a while since I've driven this big of a rig. Uh, but this system has a full surround camera system. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So we got rear, uh, we got passenger side, driver side, and then we've got one over the door, uh, more of a security camera. 